In this video, we will show you just how easy it is to get DAB in any vehicle by fitting a Pure Highway 200 adapter. The Highway 200 works with your existing car stereo, so you don't need to replace your entire audio system. In under 10 minutes, you can be up and running with digital radio, benefiting from more choice, crystal clear quality and seamless reception. You can also set up to 20 station presets and play music from your phone via aux in. So, if you're ready, let's get started with the fitting. Begin by wiping down the top corner of the windscreen on the passenger side with the cleaning wipe. Whilst this is drying, we can fit the antenna. The tail of the antenna is magnetic and connects to the roof of the car. This will ensure we get a strong signal to the highway. On the passenger side, gently pull down the roof liner until a small gap is created. With the magnetic side facing upwards, slide in the tail of the antenna. Slide it to the edge of the windscreen until it is approximately 40 millimeters away. Gently tug on the tail to ensure it is connected to the roof. We should feel some resistance. Ensure the windscreen is dry, then peel off the plastic film from the bottom of the antenna and stick it to the windscreen. Now we need to connect the DAB film aerial to the antenna. Insert the aerial until it clicks into place. Once inserted, Peel off the plastic film from the aerial and stick it to the windscreen. Now we need to choose an area on the dashboard within arm's reach of the driver to put the highway controller. Wipe down the area with a cleaning cloth and allow it to dry. Slide the controller onto the bracket. Remove the adhesive from the back of the bracket and stick it down firmly. The next step is to connect the antenna cable to the controller. There are three ways to do this, so you can choose the easiest method for your vehicle. The first way is to route the cable behind the pillar. Tuck the cable between the pillar and windscreen. The second way is to route the cable around the inside of the door frame. The top of the cable can be fed through the gap in the pillar. Then we simply tuck the cable into the door frame. The third way is to stick the cable to the windscreen using the self-adhesive cable clips. Now you can either tuck the cable into the top of the dashboard at the windscreen or underneath the glove box behind the carpet towards the front of the vehicle or through the glove box using clips as necessary. Choose whichever works best for your vehicle. Insert the antenna cable firmly into the connector on the rear of the controller, ensuring it is fully inserted. Next, we need to connect the controller to our vehicle. Locate the power socket and if connecting via line out, locate the aux in socket as well. Route the cables toward these sockets using cable clips if required. If the sockets are in different locations, gently pull apart the controller's power and audio cables to separate them. Plug in the power cable using the supplied adapter. Plug in the line out cable to the aux in socket. The line out cable is at a right angle like this. The other cable is an aux in for playing music through your mobile device. Now everything is fitted, we need to set up highway and find DAB stations. Turn the car key into the accessory position. Make sure your highway is switched on. Choose the language. Choose either line out or FM transmit, depending on how we are connecting to the car stereo. Here, we are connecting via line out. Change audio options if required. Now, select aux in on the car stereo to begin playing DAB stations. If we are connecting via FM transmit, select this option during setup instead. Tune to the default station showing on your highway. We can store this frequency as a preset on our car's audio system for easy access. Highway will now play through our car speakers. And that's it, you're all set. The easiest way to get DAB in your car using the Pure Highway 200. Thank you for watching and happy listening.